Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. I'm Rachel and I welcome you all to the Executive Corner Expert Talks. Today I have Aaron Narnia from Connection. Here at Calkine we bring you industry leaders, successful business owners, market and equity advocates all under one roof to help you discover the insides of the stock markets and help you understand how you can create multiple passive income streams. A very warm welcome to Aaron from Connection. Thank you, Rachel. Pleasure, pleasure to be here. Pleasure to speak with you today. Now, Connection is an Internet of Things technology company aiming to revolutionize the smart car experience. Are you able to share your inspiration behind this quest? Yeah, certainly. So, is to create technologies that improve daily lives. So we then apply this vision to our users, being manufacturers and dealerships, as well as our consumers, being individual vehicle owners. So much of that inspiration uh, for the vision lies in the fact that, on average, a passenger vehicle sits idle approximately 95% of the time. So by improving that asset utilisation, uh, it's both good for the asset owner and the environment. Sorry, are you, Aaron, able to elaborate briefly on the lineup of your revolutionary products? Uh, yes, yeah, certainly. So, our flagship product is a mature enterprise grade rental management software platform called OnTrack. In the US, OnTrack is used by one in five franchise dealers and, and it's used to manage billions of dollars worth of courtesy fleet vehicles. Just a few weeks ago, we launched our um, brand agnostic platform called CXZ Track. And while CXZ Track handles courtesy fleet vehicles, it also enables dealers and consumers to improve the utilization and therefore profitability of their assets. Excellent. And how does a small company out of Australia compete in the US against much larger local rivals? Yeah, it's a consistent point of intrigue um, that we have with conversations with people in the US. The short answer is quality of people and agility. So relationships with very large manufacturers like General Motors, for example, are notorious for taking a very long time to build. So we were fortunate um, in that Connections relationship building with GM began many years ago. From a technical perspective, we have excellent capability with even um, AWS publicly recognising our team as being one of the most efficient that they've seen. What we've seen most recently with COVID is actually a silver lining on uh, two fronts. So the first being that COVID has essentially forced a lot of companies to adopt technology at a far more rapid rate. So we're having much more collaborative discussions um, with our customers about servicing their needs. And the second being a levelling of the playing field in terms of doing cross-border business. So in a general sense, there's a lot, a lot less uh, reliance on a local presence um, and face-to-face -face meetings for, for doing business compared with what we saw pre-COVID. Absolutely. And how does structural change within the automotive industry, such as the introduction of electric and autonomous vehicles, affect connection? Yeah, so automotive dealers um, have to adapt to three key trends over the coming years. So in order, those are the shift to online retailing, the adoption of electric vehicles, and in time, potentially the adoption of autonomous vehicles. So for dealers to remain competitive, they must A, reduce their costs of doing business, and B, improve the customer experience. Both of those objectives are increasingly reliant upon technology, the likes of which we deliver today. So most dealers are acknowledging both of those long-term trends and the key that technology holds to helping them to adapt. And how does the global semiconductor shortage affect your company and is it likely to remain in play, do you think? Yeah, it's a, it's a difficult question. So the chip supply shortage is a, a very serious issue across a range of industries, including automotive, um, and it will take quite some time to resolve. At this stage, um, from everything that we're hearing in the market, we're looking at early 2022 at the earliest. With that said, um, and for connection specifically, I think our future is a very bright one, um, owing to a few things. So one, we're in great shape at a corporate level, being profitable, well-capitalised, 
two, we're in great shape from a technical perspective um, with our team recognised as, as a, a high performing team. And we're thirdly in great shape strategically with distribution across over 20% of franchise dealers in the US. So those are the ingredients that we have to work with. Now we need to continue executing. Our game plan is described as come for the tools, stay for the network. So there are a number of software companies that employ that strategy. What's unusual about connection is we're already profitable based on the tool, uh, and that's just from an initial customer. So if we can then achieve success in unlocking the strategic value inherent in our distribution, then that'll be a game changer for us. And lastly, Aaron, what is the future looking like for Connection? What's your near-term outlook? Yeah, so the, I mean, the, the very near-term outlook is uh, essentially a status quo. So we have the impacts of the chip sh supply shortage on our business, and those are offset by our recent launch of CXZ Track. So we've moved very quickly to negate the negative impact from the chip supply. Um, and behind the scenes, we're working on quite a number of different additional features to our software platform that will enable us to unlock the value of that distribution channel. So that's a, a medium to longer term play, but a very strong theme for our business. Well, it's been fabulous to chat with you today, Aaron. Thank you so much for your time. With that, I'll sign off Likewise. now. But watch this space for more. Till then, stay apprised and invest wise with Calkine.